Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, so I've already shuffled the deck for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading Sagittarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2020. All right, your first card here is the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you guys looking towards the past, uh, perhaps trying to... Uh, come out from a situation where it's been a bit difficult for you to overcome. Um, Seven of Pentacles can also represent uh, really putting in some time, uh, some some slow pacing of time uh, in regards to finances, perhaps being a little more methodical in the way you spend uh, Sagittarius. Now, your next card here is the Queen of Pentacles, and this is your current obstacle position. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could be like almost feeling like you have to really restrict yourself in regards to your expenses, uh, Sagittarius. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is that of abundance and being bountiful. As a challenge, it usually indicates lack of stability. Uh, for others, it could be uh, financial difficulties that you're currently experiencing. Uh, maybe perhaps even feeling like uh, there is a lot of uncertainty in regards to your finances. Now, the past and passing is the Eight of Wands. So I do see that there is some type of progress, some type of movement, uh, perhaps some of you guys, some type of cha um, some type of change uh, that came about or uh, news that you got in regards to your finances or money that would be coming in. Um, but again, there is some type of slow pace to that. So uh, perhaps your expectations or uh, what you thought would come um quickly or effortlessly has uh, prolonged a little bit longer than what was expected now you do have here the king of wands uh, so the king of wands could represent your energy sagittarius and i feel that as what is unfolding before you it, it's it's more to do with believing in yourself and having confidence in yourself um again we go back to that of not doing um or being mindful about what you do for other people uh, it's kind of like that saying, in order for you to save or help other people, you need to help yourself. So again, um, this could be talking to you directly about making sure that you're okay, Sagittarius, making sure that your <clears throat> necessities are being met uh, before offering a helping hand. Uh, if you have a tendency of people relying on you, and this could be uh, your children, this could be... Um, and children doesn't necessarily mean like young, you know, young children. It could represent like a fully grown 27 year old son uh, that solely depends on you or that um, continuously keeps depending on you. Uh, again, with the king of wands, you need to stand your ground. You need to be more assertive uh, when it comes to your finances and when it comes to you helping others. Now, the hanged man is literally symbolizing here waiting. Um, waiting to make a decision or waiting for some type of change, some type of balance that you're needing in your life in the present. The two of pentacles is what's coming towards you. So again, having to make a choice, um, having to make a choice for some of you guys, this could represent, um, for some of you guys, this could represent in regards to finances, having to make a choice or a decision. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be like a decision of uh, perhaps expanding or growing in another, uh, going to another company, going to another work um, that would require you to go a little bit more out of your way. So I do see some commute or some type of travel for you guys. Uh, and I really see that you're kind of balancing um, the pros and the cons in regards to making the decision. Uh, now for others of you, the seven of pentacles could represent hoping or wanting to hear from someone from your past. Now, the obstacle here is the queen of pentacles. So it could represent that perhaps there is a standstill in regards to a relationship or in regards to a connection. And uh, you were hoping or wanting for some type of movement, some type of communication that hasn't happened as of yet. Uh, we do have the hanged man, like I said, waiting on um someone else to make a decision for you or kind of waiting for someone to make up their mind 
with the two of pentacles this is an indication of having uh, to choose between two people now we do have the moon card here and this is your advice card so your advice card is telling you listen to your intuition uh, Sagittarius if you're being pulled or you're feeling like this person is dealing with another person it's time for you to stop uh, hopeful thinking and actually listen to your intuition a little bit more I feel that the more you listen to your intuition the more uh, you're going to be able to live your truth and you're going to be able to live uh, the best possible way based off of your intuition versus uh, trusting or believing in people at face value now you also do have here the ace of cups so again I feel that for some of you guys this could be connected to relationships to others it could be re uh, in regards to finances uh, but there was definitely I do see for some of you guys um, a reconnection a reconnection from the past or from the person that you're waiting to hear from um, with the moon card, there's a lot of things that are being hidden, a lot of things that are not being completely transparent or that you're not aware of. Um, in regards to the person, I do see them having genuine feelings for you. Um, for some of you guys, it could even represent that you're dealing with the person that is just coming out of a long-term relationship or a marriage or going through some type of divorce. Um, and you're feeling like you're stuck, like you're not being able to... Or like the relationship didn't progress the way you were expecting it to. Um, what Spirit is telling you is be patient. Uh, be patient at this present time because I feel that this person is still dealing uh, with things from the past. They're still dealing whether for those that are dealing with someone that's married. Uh, they could be dealing or trying to navigate the divorce. Uh, for others, it could just symbolize uh, children being involved and having to make decisions um, to best accommodate both the partner and the person of your interest. So again, um, I do see that some of them are still dealing with past relationships, marriages, unions, um, or past, you know, past relationships, like I said. We do have the wheel of the year here. So I do feel that for those of you guys that are dealing with this type of situation, I do see the person reaching out to you or coming back around. Um, it may take a little bit. It may not be as quickly as you would want only because again, they are still dealing with, uh, situations from the past or they're trying to get on the same page to be able to, uh, pretty much, you know, um, pretty much go into the next, the next page of their life or the next phase of their life. Um, but they are trying to navigate, uh, the situation in regards to, it's kind of like when you are in a position where the relationship is no longer working for you and decisions have to be made, but you do have to take under consideration, as an example, those that are dealing with children, um, scheduling, uh, co-parenting, that type of energy. So I feel that all of that is unfolding uh, for them and they're still, like I said, still trying to navigate through that situation. Um, so again, I hope this gives you guys some kind of insight, some kind of understanding, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.